Hey all, I'm Insetic, and welcome back to Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch's Infinite Air. Wow. Damn. With that me on this infinite. video is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And Turo. Hello, I am Turo. And so this is the final tier of circuit mode, and probably the final part. And it's Mount McMorris. That's because Mark himself is laying down some serious challenges. Oh, and I do shit. mean serious. Like, oh, was, no. holy shit, some of this stuff is super hard. Like, you're going to see, even on this first one, it's going to be like two big airs back to backs, but just like versus Mark. And he just drives forward maximum speed. He gets a shit ton of air Jesus and Christ. just does this perfectly. How did he and it's. Well, how did he get so fast? Exactly, it's so like, fast. Yeah. If you nollie, you just get speed. This feels like artificial compared to the other, like, versus the pros, where they at least, like, you can at least, like, emulate what they're doing. Here, Mark is in one million mode. Dude literally revved his engine and took off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's... No, if he's... you nollie on flat ground, you gain speed. It works oh. like that in real life too. I mean, if yeah. you well, yeah. ollie as well, you get some speed. That's also how, like, he's pr he's holding the boost button. Yeah. Oh right. it's yeah. Just, he's, he's filled about up to his run out of boost meter. right here actually, mm -hmm. but he timed yeah. it perfectly to get the most air before he ran yeah, out. Yeah. So boost. this was like sure I edited this down to mostly the successful stuff and but the uh, you know full footage was like <laughs> more than twice as long. You should have brought back Anatomy of a Challenge for this. Nah. No. No. There's no, nothing to this say. this is just hard as fuck. It's just like, you gotta get 2,000 points. And it's like, how do I do that? Yeah, Insetic's Anatomy of a Challenge was never about just repeating get good. Right? <laughs> I mean, that was that's basically what he would have to say here. And that's not helpful advice. That's true. I yeah. do like how Mark McMorris says, hey, I got some stuff for you to do. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you want to cool do like a trick? <laughs> I got stuff, like, the stuff you can do, I guess, this, if you well, really want to. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a favor you're doing for him. <laughs> yeah. He's actually really lonely, because no one else is this good. <laughs> stuff yeah. for you to do. He's like, hey, you want to come ride with me? No one else is this good. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, oh. it's it's Can you just keep doing like one eighties to get over the line? Yeah, you're, there's no way in hell you're gonna get two thousand points off just the two jumps. So, yeah, you. Oh can... my god, you almost did not make that. No, Jesus actually, Christ. actually, actually, if you go out of bounds and the timer ends, I think that will just end the event, but with the points you have. So oh, okay, nice. it's not like I almost failed. Okay, okay. but That's... I did still want to ride through the orange thing because otherwise. Uh, Oakley Park versus But yeah, Mark I guess Mark. this is kind of interesting. On all four of these, Mark is there as well to show you his yeah. line. I don't know. His yeah. sick tricks. Yeah, he's, he's fucking be, blitzed. It's, it's your day with Mark. This is your initiation into his Funky Bunch. His, oh. Yeah, his Funky Bunch. Is yeah. this how you become one of the Funky Bunches? Yeah. yeah. The funky, funky Bunches of Oats? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you start out playing the game and then you are in the game. What Whoa. if they were called... Fucking bunches of oats. Like, the fucking... Do you think they would still sell? <laughs> Probably not. I Damn. think the FDA would have shut that down. <laughs> what if <laughs> Marky yeah. Mark was originally called Marky Mark and the fucking bunch? <laughs> and then they were like, ah, we can't put fucking in our group. Ah, we'll just go with funky bunch. Funky, That'll be yeah. cool. Man, <laughs> you know, I've I've got a thought. How come uh -huh. all of those like, oh, I get, I get teleported into a video game and I'm stuck in there and whatever. How come those are all like fantasy, you know, swords and magic and shit? Why does no one ever get teleported into like, I don't know, a game like this or like what? Euro Truck are Simulator 2? Are you talking too? about like those animes or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just yeah. Just think it's about it. Like p someone gets teleported into Madden 23. That's exactly like, what be, I was okay, thinking. I would unironically watch somebody get teleported into Madden 23. Like, yeah. <laughs> I would watch that anime. I would watch yeah, an anime would watch where they get teleported too. into Mark McMorris 
Uh, it'd be a very short anime. It'd be about six episodes. But you know I would what? Watch you it. say you say this. This is a, you're basically saying like we want a sports anime and we want an isekai anime and we want to merge the two of them, right? Yeah. Like, and I'm more interested in this premise than I am in either of those other premises. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like I want a, an isekai sports anime where they get sucked into the video game. That sounds so much more interesting. Right, but it's stats, like SSX. Honestly. So it's yeah. Not. yeah. But like, but like, imagine. Okay, so you know, like in the in the sports anime, right? Like, it's always about, like, the big game, right? Right. You know, but, like, imagine the Isekai Sports video game anime where they're like, we have to score the most points. Yeah. <laughs> like, they have to fight right, game right. glitches. I mean, it's, it's like, AI. the characters in-game understand they have stats, and so yeah, they're like... Yeah, like, imagine if, right. like, they had to fight the cheating fucking AI. They're like... Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my god, fucking ass. scripting. You have to fucking battle FIFA scripting. Or like you, you know, in like if it was like an SSX thing or like a racing thing, it could be like, oh man, rubber banding, you know? <laughs> yeah. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just want to see sick ass animated snowboard tricks, like Uber tricks in anime, you know? Yeah. Honestly, now I'm thinking about like, it. Like, I'm so sick of basketball or volleyball or whatever. Like, fuck that. Well, like, think about it. If they did that, they wouldn't even, like, you couldn't even use the excuse it's unrealistic. It's like, of course it's unrealistic. They're in a yeah. fucking video game. They're in a video right. game in an anime. Like, right. yeah. Damn. I mean, that just makes me, every, I saw in the corner you had a Steam notification. Uh, yeah, because I had to that, screen record. That, that Yellow was playing something, and that reminds me. Yellow, only, every time we I think about Beyblades or Yellow, I think about the other one. Specifically because he's the one who told me that Moses parts the Red Sea yes. in Beyblades with yes. a Beyblade. And that he showed Wait, me the what? clip of... Yeah, in yeah. Beyblade, yeah. canonically. It's a real thing. Moses parted the Red Sea with a with Beyblade. A Beyblade. <laughs> I think you I don't know, know the first thing the about the power happened. hidden like, in Bays. Pretty sure I remember that from the Bible. That's just in the Bible? Maybe yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, I'm yeah. with the Beyblade, I mean, yeah. The Bible just... Old English just didn't have the words for Beyblades, but they yeah. that's yeah. what they meant. Pharaoh, yeah, they let my people go. Also, let her rip! And then... Uh, yeah, that was that was King James's intention. Yeah, original. They right. changed it later to, to make the it... the later version. They condensed yeah. it a little, you know, abridged it, but yeah. Yeah, the, the Bible abridged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they abridged I it. thought it. all the boring back. shit about Beyblades <laughs> out and left all yeah. the cool shit about genealogies in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got something for you to do. Complete my task. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... This Letter is, rip. like, my one stroke of luck in this game, where this, like, event and some of these challenges, especially the land back-to-back -back triple corks, was oh so fucking hard and inconsistent and unreliable the oh. first time. I spent so much on that, and I'm just gonna get it here. But that's oh. mainly because, like, it took me so long that I, like, learned what animation I'm looking for, mm. you know, to get that... With, of course, do not touch the right stick at all, or that triple cork might just turn into, I don't know, a single front foot. Right. But, you know. Right. Yeah. You tweaked it into nothing. Again, that was a quadruple cork, good. if we're talking in literal sense. Yeah, good lord. That is pretty cool. This though. music is, like, oddly intimidating for what you're trying to do. This song, this is one of the licensed songs in the game, and I adore it. It's, uh, da it's doused by dive. I See, he's genuinely... doing it again. He's talking about songs that bounce off of... Don't even go in one ear. Just bounce off the front of my brain like, bing! I just... Yeah. I could have sworn you were about to say, Dahir InShot, and I was... No. <laughs> Down no, by Dahir. <laughs> that would Dahir InShot of... moves to developing torture devices. That would have been a big step up for Dahir InShot. <laughs> oh, hell, who am I talking about? He already Doesn't does. Doesn't he already? Yeah. You, wait, you don't know Dahir InShot? No. Me? No, I. You don't. Wait, Matt, what? you don't know Dahiri. I don't know what that is. My God. Oh, what? man, Me? we've got things Bad to show bed. you. You've I'm, never heard I'm of the so, Hellbed? I'm a yeah. Right now. You've never heard of the Hellbed or the. <sighs> uh, oh, the my God. The fucking plane train? Dahiri shot conquers the world. No, I have no idea <laughs> what the fucking, word the thing. fucking surgery video? Yeah, the surgery. The, you go into the. <laughs> and then you clear out plaques and stuff. That's some really good. I mean, wow. You've never seen the plane train. 
He's never no. seen the plane train, apparently. Yeah. Okay, no. this call is not ending for another three hours. You, <laughs> we are gonna physically strap you into your chair somehow. I, unfortunately, I can't you. stick around for it. So. And I'm probably just gonna leave after this. Is that Connor's <laughs> gonna? He's just gonna leave. I, See, see, I was shocked that you didn't know Dahir in chat, but then only like 10 seconds later, I go back to my baseline of, uh, once this is over, I'm just gonna like, I don't you know, know what? Just sit I'm around. just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just a small little guy with no energy. Yeah, he's, he's a, a sleepy little sleepy guy. fella. <laughs> Abimir, or whatever Abimir. he said. Abimir. Abimir. He's a I, I genuinely thought about sending that to my work, but I didn't. <laughs> Anyways. All right, back to the game, because this is oh, the this final level. event. A massive run down the entire mountain. And this is Sorry. like, they really should have done more stuff like this, because this is gonna show off one, just like, oh my God, when you ride for a while, like it's really cool, you know, cause they mm. have the space to make that happen. Two, you're gonna get like massive air and you're just gonna see where like, oh, now this like giant, flipping rotation trick when I have the time to just stop doing anything and have the game auto fix me for five seconds straight. It actually ends up mostly working out and, and just like this is seems to be where the game plays to its strengths compared to oh yeah you have two jumps to get 2,000 points which is only possible if you do the sickest fucking trick ever but also land perfectly. I was gonna say I thought it was weird how this like you know like other snowboarding games like Amped and the other ones, they have you go down like the mountain, and this one is like, yeah, uh, like you see, I want you to like go down, it's like basically, 30 feet. hey, hey I'm sorry, I, I just have to say this because I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't get to say this. Mark Summit. <laughs> All right, but Mark there you Summit. see that the target is like 30,000 points, which is like way more than you've had to do before, and so that instinctively scares the shit out of you. Yeah. But then this is like a five-minute run with so many opportunities that if you just chill. And again, and maybe fun. don't do any weird off-axis stuff. You'll get up to like a three times, four times multiplier pretty mm. quickly and then have no problem. I mean, it's just, it's weird to me that they have you do such technical stuff. I'm not saying snowboarding isn't technical, but when you think about snowboarding as opposed to something like skateboarding, snowboarding is like a big, huge mountain you go down and you're trying to do tricks while you're sightseeing, basically, right? And skateboarding's like, here's this one little area, I'm gonna master it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna do what I can in this little zone. So it's weird that this game has so many, like, you're gonna, like, just try and do whatever you can in this tiny little zone for challenges. Yeah, because, like, I think it's part not really of the appeal the of snowboarding. of, like, snowboarding. Yeah, snowboarding like... itself is, is much more spectacle-based than, than, I think, skateboarding. At yeah, least and I, I don't from mean an that outsider's in, like, like you can't be technical snowboarding. Like it's not hard. Yeah. But I mean that in like a. I mean I went skiing and like I definitely didn't hang around one spot for too long because I was going down the fucking mountain and it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I love those videos of people recording like an entire skiing or snowboarding run down the mountain. Mm. Sure, they're not doing sick ass tricks, but it's just like, you know, it's kind of the same sort of feeling of people who love those like eight hour train ride videos like you're yeah. always seeing something new yeah and it's just or like weird when that you see like a lean more into like going down the mountain for its challenges yeah that's kind of weird to me but i mean like we talked about it in the first couple of videos that it seems like they were trying to make a game that that you would form a community around and Everybody would be making challenges and generating content, and presumably people would also be making these huge lines down the mountains. I in theory, right? Like you, could, yeah. you could probably create something like this, and then like you know somebody would like so somebody would play yeah. that and have a real good time. But because there's no community here, instead we're stuck with all the the little. I mean, everything turns into a big tutorial. Yeah, uh, which much. has to be tiny little snippets of gameplay on small sections but, of the mountain. But I mean, like, this section proves that it, it didn't have to be like that. It didn't that. have so to it was be that, that way. they chose to make it like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I think clearly say... they're capable of making big, sprawling set pieces. At least yeah. one. <laughs> so it's kind of weird they didn't make more. As yeah. someone who did have this game relatively close to launch, at the very least when this game had probably the most active community it ever did, in that I had challenges made by other people to do. 
Um, yeah. It was a pretty good mix of both. Big there was small. people, you know, there was people, you know, going up to the highest peak on the mountain and setting scores and stuff like that. And there was also people making like tight little runs of like maybe like I remember the one map I played the most on was um that was also really cool. <laughs> really, yeah, really I, I hand, hand, cool. yeah, hand hand drag on the ski lift. But um I remember spending a lot of time on a um uh just a little half pipe. It was smaller than this one actually, speaking of half pipes, but it was like smaller than this one and you only really had time to do like three jumps and I remember like trying to perfect my score on that run. So there was there was both. Cause ultimately this downhill like sort of backcountry riding um is just one discipline of snowboarding although it is also yeah undeniably the part of this game that is better than mm. the uh, tight yeah. slope style runs yeah i think i mean i yeah i'm i guess i'm just a li i'm a little surprised we didn't get one of these type of runs at the end of each section section we, of the game or whatever, right? Like, we I don't know did. how they would want to divide it up, but, like, a longer stretch at the end where they kind of tie all the set pieces that you practiced on before would be, would be I think, that's like, a, like you know, you make one level, and then you make it out of, like, four or five set pieces, and make each of those set pieces a different challenge area, and then yeah, you could, you'd, you know, you'd get a chance to practice on each of those, so that when you do the final run, you've mastered all of them, and then... You know, that would be kind of cool, I think. Yeah, because, Turo, you're probably going to say, like, oh, some of those backcountry yeah. versus the pros were a little longer. But, yeah, no, like, this is not our first time being in this specific area. None of them really use that much of the actual backcountry. And, yeah. you know, the first half of this um, event here, where you're truly in the backcountry and yeah. up at the very top of the mountain, was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, all of the other back countries go into a park set piece pretty early, actually. Yeah, mm. just in case you were wondering how uh, small this soundtrack is, here's that same song you were talking about, like, ten minutes ago again. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. that's because I had yeah. to cut out a bunch of footage. But yeah, yeah, no, it was, it's seriously only, like, eight songs. It's so small. Hmm. But, like, three of them are really good. Personally, I like them. That's... You unlock some new gear. I like you how it just ends instantly. Gear. Like, no, oh, yeah, no, did you cut out the loading screen, or is it really that quick? It's really that quick when you end stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, I kind of like the end of the game. A technical marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean that map was really big. Yeah, like, so that again, was impressive. There is uh, uh, more to this game. Like again, you can edit the world, and you'll. You know, if you do that, you'll see that all of those pieces that were laid out in this seed, this infinite mountain or whatever, I mean, you can, like, delete those and then delete the the shaping of the snow that the devs did and delete the clearing of the trees that the devs did if you really want to, like, remake the seed 100% backcountry, you know, or mm. natural. Like you, like, you can see just what the options are. But again, I don't know, I... I didn't enjoy the gameplay enough to want to spend the time to really try and make something that, uh, you know, would just be for a video. Yeah. Not not an no actual interest, play. but just for a video to show off. So, but again, like, there are a bunch of videos online of other people's stuff, so you could see, like, kind of what was done. I... Uh, I'm just ending it off by going back up to the top, going to the other side, and, um... Immediately like descenders. Oh God! This, this is what I do in Descenders. <laughs> so, so is there is there a mode where you can just ride down procedurally generated mountains? Yes. Yeah, so you can generate procedurally generated mountain seeds. Okay. Which I don't know. It it does but contrary the, well, that, to what we just said. Does it put like course stuff on it, or is it no, just no? It's it's no. just okay. The See, blank. like that. That would have been nice, right? Like, if it, they had something that, like, tried yeah. to detect where rails could go and some obstacles and, like, jumps and stuff and just kind of make that part of the procedural generation. Um, yeah. But instead, you gotta do it. I'll that be real with you. That would have added a lot of single-player replayability I, after I was the say, community I'll be real died. with you. The, 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 the way Descenders does that is the reason I go back and keep playing that game. Yeah, it's a like, great game. The, to be fair, well, how, how long, when did this game come out? 
2019, it's... right? Descenders? Okay, yeah, it's really... talk about this game. No, no, I'm thinking both of them. I mean, they did, yeah, like, it's not like three years is a lot of time for that kind of technology to evolve that much. But maybe the team didn't have time, or yeah. maybe that wasn't part of their vision. I, in which case, I would just disagree with their vision. But, Ultimately, yeah. this was a licensed game, so they were probably beholden to some contract. Some kind of yeah. contract, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe it's Mark McMorris's fault. Yeah. yeah. Marky Mark. And the fucking yeah. bunch. The fucking <laughs> bunch. Whoa. Well, you know what? I want to end this Let's Play on a quote from Insetic 47, which says, <laughs> What if I jam my fist through your chest, and instead of pulling out your heart, I pull out a Panera bread, half-sized, toasted ham, and turkey on rye? See, I <sighs> thought that was your favorite one. And that one is my favorite one, actually. Was, yeah. <laughs> that um, yeah, that's crime machine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Mark McMorris, Infinite Air. Uh, pretty short and <laughs> probably pretty hard to get nowadays if you want to actually play it. Yeah, but um, rich. yeah, it's it's there, and it we is were there. A game, and you are there too. You're in, in the spirit. game. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! All right, so it's in. The thanks game. for watching.